Hey guys, I wanted to take a moment to talk about the grounding of these two AC300s that are in split phase mode. Um, typically, if you are connected to a transfer switch, you're supposed to be a bonded generator. Obviously, we know that these are floating, uh, but once you connect to a transfer switch, you're going to gain access to anything that that transfer switch may be configured for. Um, some transfer switches will have a bonding screw, which will allow you to bond the neutral and ground together. Um, but respectively, you're only supposed to have one bonded um, neutral in your system. And if your transfer switch does not switch the neutral line, then you have a direct path back to your uh, main breaker box which will have the neutral bonded to the ground and then therefore also have access to the grounding rod. Um, however, if you have the transfer switch that's official from Blue Eddy, the smart home panel, or let's say you have a Reliance X series or a Generac Home Link series that switch that neutral cable from the grid, so basically has no direct path back to the main panel's neutral line, then you have no bonded neutral. And then these are 100% floating. There's nothing that causes them to be bonded. So part of my question here that I'm trying to propose and try to get an answer for uh, from the community and also from Blue Eddy support is, typically when you hook up a generator to a home through a transfer switch, not only should the generators be bonded somewhere, usually here, um, and they usually need to have access to a grounding rod. Because there's no bonding going on here, and I know we see a slight flicker here on my uh, outlet tester. Uh, this is actually something coming from my power company. This is an anomaly. But if I come over here and I'm gonna go over to the other AC300 here, and I plug this in, You'll see I'll only get one light in the middle, and this is basically telling me that I have an open ground. So there's, there's no connection between the neutral and ground. Um, so you can buy a bonding plug, I know, which is just something like this, uh, which basically just takes the neutral and it bonds it to the ground plug. So I can come in here and plug this into my generator and then now make this into a bonded uh, neutral generator. But before I went off and just did this, I need to understand, is there a technical reason why um, I wouldn't do that? Is there any risk or potential issue uh, with that? Um, and then also I need to understand why are these two units acting differently for the ground? Um, I told you when I had the, um, ground plug, I'm sorry, the outlet plug tester plugged into the master unit, I was getting feedback from my ground. I'm getting eight volts on my ground just to provide a little bit of feedback. Uh, tracing it through my home, nothing in my house is actually producing it. Um, and then actually I went to a couple neighbors homes and actually was quite surprised to find out they were all getting a little power on our ground cable. So it's coming something from our transfer switch. I'm sorry, from our transformer. So if I come over here to the master here and I plug this back in, you can see I'm getting a very, very slight faint light. It's enough to kind of um, light up that LED. But that kind of led me to questioning, well, why is my master seeing the grounding issue that I see inside my home and my neighbors see, but why is my slave not seeing that? And it has to do with that uh, transfer, I'm sorry, the, the fusion box down here. So give me one second, I'm gonna go ahead and, and change the setup. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the, the fusion box a little bit better. And I'll show you basically what I'm talking about. All right guys, so I'm a little bit zoomed into the fusion box here. Um, obviously the fusion is getting power right now. So what I'm gonna do real quick is actually turn off that power just so I can show you something, okay? I have nothing running on in my, my home right now, okay? So we're gonna come down here with our uh, voltmeter here and I'm actually just gonna unplug the outbound oh, L14 good lord this one's come unblocked for my house because I don't need this connected right now okay so what I'm gonna do is actually show you the connections here um, and how everything's working um, I've showed you guys previously in other uh, forums I'm gonna do a continuity test uh, or well, also is known as toning. Uh, we're gonna actually just check for connectivity between the 
uh, uh, grounding system on this fusion box. So respectively, if I come here and I touch these two prongs together, okay, I have continuity between it or I have toning. So this L14 here is my 240 volts that would go to my transfer switch. So I would expect that this ground cable would eventually lead back to the uh, slave and it would lead back to my master unit. Well, it doesn't. And that's what I was a little surprised with. And when I checked with uh, support, they actually said it was by design. And I really don't know why you wouldn't do that. So let me show you guys real quick. So if I cut, yeah, actually, let me explain this real quick. My fusion box is actually upside down. So this side of the fusion box is ran by my master and this side is ran by my slave. So if I come over here to my um, side that's ran by my slave, I'm sorry, my master, go into the ground prong and go into the ground prong here. Okay, I have continuity. Let me see if I can move my hand so you guys can see that a little bit better. So I come up here. Okay, so I... Okay, so I have continuity right now. Okay, you guys can hear the tone. Obviously, you don't need to see the uh, meter, okay? But if I come over here to what's running off the slave side and check for continuity, I have nothing. I have an open line. So what this tells me here is that this L14 has a direct connection on this side, which goes back to my master, which is why when I plug in my transfer switch, anything that's happening on my ground grounding system for my transfer switch is leading down through my L14 and then it's going up the master side. And that's why on, on um, my master for my plug here, my outlet tester, I'm seeing that slight voltage. But obviously this ground here is not going up the slave side and that's why I don't see it. So I don't really have a clear understanding or, or technical reason why they would do that, why I would not have a pass back for my ground to clear ground faults. Yes, I know it's a floating neutral, but once again, it leads back to that you hook a, a generator up to a home. It's supposed to be bonded and it's supposed to be connected with a grounding rod. And in order for it to clear a ground fault, that power that's going to go down the ground wire needs to go back to its source. Well, right now, um, if there's power coming back down on the uh, ground wire here and, and it was the master that was having the issue, well, it would return to the master source. But if it was something that was being delivered by the slave, it has no path back. Now, will you get shocked on, on a, a ground fault? Probably not because it can't complete the circuit. Um, um, but it's not going to clear the fault. Um, so this is not my uh, level of expertise. Obviously, none of this is. It's something just like the rest of you guys I'm learning as we go. Um, but I'm hoping that maybe somebody out there will have an answer to these two questions or Blue ID Support will um, give us official answer of understanding two things. One, do we need to bond our system with a bonding plug or something else or even bonding it in the transfer switch which you know obviously I don't want to have two bonds if I switch back over to utility so I think this is my safer route so do I use a bonding plug to uh, bond my AC 300s and then if that's the case do I need one on you know the slave side and one on the master side or does it just one per unit and then two what is the technical reason of why they didn't allow the ground to go to flow back to the slave? Um, and is that the, the best solution? So I'm hoping that uh, we can figure out an answer to this. If anybody has any insight or maybe uh, can provide any feedback to lead to more um, uh, answers or questions, uh, please let me know. Thank you.